Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Sack of Stationery. So, so casual. casual. <laughs> um, happy Halloween. <laughs> Look at my spooky shirt. Oh, I want everyone to appreciate yeah. my, my spooky, it's very, spooky it's shirt. It's very cool. Did you make it? No, I wish. Oh my That'd God. be so cool. Yeah, I was looking at that. Um, very, it has all the bones. All the bones It's labeled. like a skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I bought it from a shop that's like... I think in East Village, they sell a lot of socks, actually, but it's so cool. Yeah, the bones are like placed almost where they would be actually on your body. Yeah, so yeah. So very spooky, spooky, yeah. spooky vibes. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our whole team that showed up wearing black today for Halloween, I guess. <laughs> um, well, by the time this video goes up, it might be like after Halloween. It'll be after Halloween. Um, but I hope you all had a good Halloween. Um, Jacob's costume that he requested, <gasps> he asked to be a fire truck. <gasps> yeah. Did no, I not tell you? This? No. Oh, okay. I feel, oh, I've, okay. I feel like I've been told it, telling everybody. Oh, I didn't know I didn't tell you. So cute. Yeah, I was like, do you mean firefighter? Like that sounds easier mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. I can purchase something. Mm -hmm. And he said fire truck. So <laughs> he clarified and he said fire truck. He wasn't, doubled down. Wasn't fire truck like one of his first like long words or something? He is <laughs> obsessed with vehicles. Like he, he's going through a phase right now where he's really into like every kind of thing that moves. Oh. Um, and so I, Neil and I made him a fire truck costume. And what did you do? You get like cardboard and cardboard stuff? box. Nice. Um, it's the craftiest I've been in years. Oh, honestly, I'm not a very so crafty good. person. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are bringing him trick or treating today, and I'm really looking forward to it. And he's healthy for the first That's time good. in the week. Yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it is good to be back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, Ashley has returned for this episode. I, I'm sure you all have very much missed her these past couple of weeks. Um, and what a perfect time to return, too, on the heels of your very exciting new release. I, well, I feel like I shouldn't say it's my release. Well, like, I, like I worked on yeah, it yeah, a yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did the design and the drawing yes, for yes. for our um, <laughs> travelers collaboration, yes. our shops travelers collaboration TN refill. Mm -hmm. um, so if you all, if anyone missed it, um, why don't you fill everybody in? <laughs> oh yeah. So if you missed it, this is our collaborative refill with Travelers Notebook, Travelers Company. It's a regular size. It has lightweight paper on the inside. And um, the cover designs, there's a design on the back as well, which is so cool, is, is just like a representation of the shop and like the home that it is for all the stationery inside. I made another video about it if mm -hmm. you want to know more. Yeah, about check that out. The design and behind the scenes of the designing. Um, but yeah, we we are sold out now. So yeah, but you can if you are New York based. We do still have some in the store. This is the beautiful refill. It has foil detail. It has the jars on our table. It has mm -hmm. our lights, found, founded in 1981, mm -hmm. and Yoseka stationery over here. Um, and these are like these are supposed to be like the steps. The steps. Right? Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really really cool abstract detail. That oh, like thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I, that's one of my favorite things. It's just um, it's very simple, mm -hmm. but um, and you wouldn't know unless you you wouldn't you've, know you've been there. Yeah, unless so you know the shop. Genius. Oh, thank you. You genius. Oh, thank you. Um, and then on the back, this is supposed to be Yoseka during the nighttime, and um, you put a little cat in there for us. Yeah, yeah little, which I love. Little Esther. Yeah. Little Esther reference. And what a dream to say I to see know. Travelers Travelers Company. Um, and when 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 Travelers first announced it on their website, it's in collaboration with Travelers. Mm -hmm. Like that's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for designing this beautiful refill for us. Of course. It was very fun. Yeah. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. If you're in store or if you're online and you missed it, you can just feel free to shoot us an email. Um, it's funny, our friend Deborah, mm -hmm. um, 
she emailed me before the release and was like, please save me one. I know um, I'm not going to be available at the time it releases. Um, so please Sorry. save me one unless you know it won't sell out. And I was like, it's not going to sell out. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to sell out. <laughs> I, I, I knew people would be excited and that like a good chunk of them right. might be gone. Right. I didn't expect it to sell out. Yeah, and then she emailed not. me later and she's like, she's like, you were wrong. <laughs> Gosh, darn it. So, um, truly thank you all for your um, excitement about this uh, collaboration. This is a really big deal for us. It is. It's a really big deal, and we've been trying to make it happen for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's really cool. So, mm -hmm. thank you also to Travelers for finally saying yes. <laughs> we can be persistent and annoying. <laughs> and we wore them down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that was huge last week um, and just still kind of floating on a high from that. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have going on? Um, on the horizon? Yeah. We, we are still very much in planner mode. So I just want to update everyone. By the time this comes out, there uh, I don't know what the timing of this will be, but Hobonichi's next release is on November 1st in Japan time. So for us, it will be October 31st, 10 p.m. The Hon A6 English versions will be going online as well as the original English version, which is the like beige cover with it used to be Japanese language on the interior and like colorful interior pages, but now they have it in English. So those will be available starting October 31st, 10 p.m. I know some people have been waiting for those A6 homes, mm -hmm. so um, mm -hmm. be sure to look out for them. They are coming out. Um, yeah, and then speaking of planners, we actually have a little event going on this week in our store that we've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks and we finally decided to do it. Um, so we're calling this Planner Madness. Planner Madness. Um, and it is going to be... So like in our store, we have tester notebooks all along our tester table with our pens and pencils available for trying out. So for Planner Madness, in the spirit of planner season, we are going to replace all of our typical notebooks with actual 2024 planner samples and have you all be able to come flip through the pages, write on the paper. Um, they're going to be testers for you to really use. And, um, you know, no better way to figure out if this is the planner for you than to really see it with your own, mm -hmm. with your own eyes, feel it, and um, actually write in the pages of mm -hmm. it. So um, we welcome all of you uh, people who have not decided yet on a planner to come by this week, November 1st to number, November 5th. Um, we're going to have all the planners out for you to try along the table. And on Friday, November 3rd, a little special event specifically for our favorite planner, Hobonichi. Um, we'll be hosting a little Hobonichi meetup um, and we'll probably have some little Hobonichi goodies to give away as well for uh, those who get there early. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, hopefully you guys are gonna be able to make it out this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry for the wait note. <laughs> Like event planning, like yeah. like 101, and we're yeah. like, so this week actually tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, yeah, come by. Yeah. Um, so, but but yeah, it's it's so it's for five days. So hopefully you can make it for one of the five mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. And actually, we'll have the testers like available even after. They yeah. just might not be like on the main table right in front of you, but mm -hmm. you can always stop by and ask for them. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. That is happening, and we're really excited. Um, I may or may not bring Jacob there Friday <gasps> afternoon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try and be there Friday afternoon at Yay. some point. I don't know when, but I have I have to to show my my Hobonichi, Hobonichi love. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you gotta go. I gotta bring my Hobonichis. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll see you there, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, oh, oh. A common thing that I think this is a good opportunity for mm. is I get a lot of questions about like the fountain pen friendliness of planners okay. and like they pretty much all are for the most part but but I get asked by people who use like 
broad, like double broad fountain pen. So I feel like if you have like your, your trusty planner pen, would it be good to say that people should bring their trusty yeah, planner pen? Yeah, for sure. To, to bring your pen. Test, test stuff out. Bring it on by. Yeah. I mean, we always say you should bring like any, like, you know, if you have mm -hmm. a pen that you're looking for a cartridge or a refill for, bring the pen and we mm -hmm. can try things out. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely bring your favorite pens and, um, test test them out in potential planners for next year to see if there's compatibility mm -hmm. yeah all right um other than that we have newly added stationery here it is halloween as i was saying before it is fall it is sweater sweater weather mm -hmm. and who else needs a sweater of course even your even your favorite notebooks need yeah. a sweater. Haramaki. Haramaki. Which apparently like literally translates to yeah. belly, oh no I forgot, belly wrap? Belly wrap, uh -huh. I think, yes. So it's it's like traditionally something that's worn, yeah. like a garment yeah. around your belly yeah. to keep it warm and I think also like improve circulation, something like that is what I read. Hmm. But. They made one for like your notebooks. To protect your notebooks. So mm -hmm. this is um, compatible with, there's this different colors. So there's like this kind of like olive mustardy green and then there's navy. Mm -hmm. And then this is like a lavender and gray mm -hmm. kind of color combination. Um, and they fit your A6 and B6 notebooks. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can store your pens, there's inside. different compartments and you can kind of like keep things inside and then you kind of pull this top part down <laughs> like a turtleneck. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, um, keep it cozy. And there's the same compartment exists on the back to keep- Whoa! Oh, yeah, there's the phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep when I was looking up about the, the Haramaki, like, like where it originated and whatnot, Keep um, cozy. It's so funny. <laughs> like the the first search result said that we were, we were just talking about Hobonichi earlier, but Shigesato Itoi, Itoi. apparently they they credit him and Hobonichi for the like resurgence and and popularization, modern popularization of the haramaki, like the actual like wearing wearing it. So that was, that was like such an interesting tidbit. He's an like influencer. A, yeah, he's an influencer. Yeah. And there's like a picture of him wearing one with like the Mother series decoration on it. Oh, that's so It's funny. really cute. Yeah. It's, oh my God. Really but yeah. Yeah, you know, like thing. when um, Tsubasa from Hobonichi was here, mm. she basically told me that Itoi is like, very perceived as very cool in Japan. Like mm. he has like a real fan base. Yeah. Um, people follow him. He has a Twitter where he tweets like different oh. things and like he, he gets like retweeted a lot. Like he's very, very popular and he's like pretty much like celebrity status in Japan. Mm. So um, I, I didn't that. know I that. I didn't know that, you know, because yeah. I'm, I found out about him through Hobonichi. Yeah. So it's interesting to think that like people followed him even before because he has a whole life outside of Hobonichi that he's very, very famous for. Meanwhile, I'm mm -hmm. like, you made the best planner ever. <laughs> yeah. um, so he's like, that's just one thing I've done. <laughs> um, so these are really cool. These Haramaki notebook covers, notebook sweaters. Sweater covers. They're so also like cute. a case. Like yeah. they're, they're like an organizer. And then next up in newly added stationery, we have, um, I don't know, what do you want to talk about next? Um, I'll talk about these really quick okay. because they're like pretty fun. These are fun. Right? Yeah. I love the colors. Yeah. And I feel like we've been adding a lot of like sticky notes lately. Well, we just recently added like the Swatelier mm -hmm. brand from, mm -hmm. from Korea mm -hmm. and these are more sticky fusens from from classicy classic and these ones were designed by drop around so another name that we have seen with classicy another uh well artist and brand these sticky notes are they're like very geometric they're called like the geometric sticky notes and they're like very bold colors because they were inspired by like maps 
So these are supposed to oh. like point out areas on maps for like travel. Oh. That's why they're so like bright colored and like in these like wonky shapes. Like I don't know what you're gonna use this for, oh. but if it's on a map, on a map, that kind of makes sense for showing like a like point A to point B type thing, you know? Oh. Like this is my destination. Uh, <laughs> I've never know. said, oh, so many heads. <laughs> that makes sense. But also, like, I guess, um, yeah, that, that does show, like, you are here. That mm -hmm. reminds me of, like, the you are mm -hmm. here on, on the map. But it could also be, like, you are here on the page of a book. book you're reading yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so For sure. I, I love that they saw that and, mm -hmm. like, connected those dots. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, I feel like you can use these for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And the you can write on them with, with, like, regular gel pens and stuff, but the black one, you, you will need, like, a, like a, a light colored. Okay, so these are new stickies from Classic-y and Drop Around. And then next up, we have some fun new... Um, we love these. We talk mm -hmm. about these all the time. And there's a new edition of the um, Plus Mount Fuji erasers. Mm -hmm. So these erasers were first released a few years ago and um, you erase them. They're erasers that look like this. And as you erase them, you expose the sides of the, of the eraser and you're supposed to get the shape of Mount Fuji mm -hmm. after you do quite a bit of erasing. Mm -hmm. So um, inside there's even like a little snowy peak of mm -hmm. the originals. But what's new about these ones? So this premium version. Premium. Yeah, they, they call it premium. Doesn't the packaging look premium It is though? premium. Yeah. Well, with the packaging, there's like a little note section you can write on the back if you're gifting it to someone because they look like um like little amulets mm -hmm. like good luck charms the knots yeah. yeah but oh there we go so the blue one is like the original color and i think it shows it the best the light blue and white yeah so the original just has like the blue and white color but uh -huh. now on the premium version it has the blue, light blue and oh. white for a more like softer gradient of the mountain top. Mm -hmm. So when you erase, it looks more like the mountain. Like, like a it's a real, realistic. like you can see it here too with this yeah. little green one. There's like, like a little tint of yellow gradation. So yeah. you can really, it looks more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. More accurate snowiness. Wow. So They're going to come out with like, um, like a, like a cube one next a that you, you're going to have to like round out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it'll be the supreme version. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so these are really cute. I, you know, it's, um, it's funny, like I actually remember like back in Sunnyside we first got these and um, one of the proudest moments was we had this one customer who lived in the neighborhood and she was Japanese um, and she actually found out about this, uh, the eraser from watching our Instagram even though she was here in New York and then it was right around like the holidays so she was getting ready to go back home to Japan to like see her parents and she told her dad about this eraser and everywhere in Japan it was sold out because it was like all the rage. It was the first one that came out so everybody was just like dying over it. Wow. She couldn't find it anywhere in Japan. Wow. But she got it from our <gasps> shop and brought it back to Japan to give to her dad. Wow. <laughs> I was like, okay, nice. <laughs> that's cool. Nice. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, I was very proud of that. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job. Um, and since there have been so many different versions of the Mount Fuji eraser, mm -hmm. and I think we've gotten like every single one because mm -hmm. it's just such a cute concept, so fun. Yeah. Their special know? editions are like so pretty. Yeah, and they really are just like a really fun little gift. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the best gifts 
gifts for the holidays, yeah. small, right? Like, stuff like, like yeah, little stuff Titans or make somebody happy, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Um, very cool. Okay, so this is new from Plus. They're Mount Fuji erasers. Then we also have some new Nagasawa fountain pens to talk about. Last week we were celebrating the birthday of the Pilot Vanishing Point, and today, um, this year we're celebrating the 141st birthday anniversary of Nagasawa. So in collaboration with Sailor um, for their 141st anniversary, they have made these uh, swell fountain pens, um, which are very, very pretty like marbled colors. And like many of d- the different Nagasawa pens, these are um, these two colors are chosen from two of their inks. Mm-hmm. So can you guess? Well, I already know. Oh, you know. Well, actually, I don't know this one. What ink it comes from? Oh, but I thought you would guess this one. Yeah, this is the one. Right? This one is amber. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It yeah, comes yeah. from the Arima amber. Yeah, yeah, the number eight Arima amber. And then I can't remember the number of this one, but it's the I think it's like eighty one Fukaye Urban Blue. Oh. It's a really nice ink color, very light, kind of dusty blue color. Um, so it matches this this really really well. Mm. And this is a cartridge converter fountain pen. Amy was a little upset that it wasn't a real. <laughs> she said it, it looks does like it looks like a real. Yeah, it does. Just the end is very. Yeah, like, it makes nice me think that it's a tapered. piston or a realo, but it, oh yeah, but it's just um, it's you can not. Fake people out. Yeah, um, it does have the Sailor Twenty One Carat nib on it, and these are also serialized as well. Here they say one hundred forty first for the anniversary, but they are serialized on the back here. So these oh, wow. are um, these are both number 24. Wow, that's yeah. so tiny. T- tiny, I know, I almost missed it. Nice. Yeah, so it's a very subtle detail. Cool, so these are new pens from Nagasawa. And then, last but not least, we have Oh, a heavy shipment. Oh my god. Oh my god, some shipping pallet. A whole pallet of shipping boxes just came in. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> um, these are the most exciting thing. I'm just... <laughs> so excited for these. These are these are really I love them. So these are um, little containers of flake stickers mm-hmm. and the packaging looks like the shipping box. Mm-hmm. Um, shipping boxes that you would see. So I think I think like this is like a super iconic so one. Yeah. Bananas. Like mm-hmm. I literally was driving yesterday and I saw like I was passing a grocery store and I saw like a box that looked just like this like they they did it so well um and inside when you open the box bubble wrap okay and the I love the detail of like the bubble wrap being cut so perfectly too I think that really makes it and then a little invoice slip Wait, does it really just say bananas? It says banana oh stickers. My god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then inside, like a bajillion banana stickers, like 40 different variants of <laughs> banana stickers. This That's one says, so Thank funny. you. How cute. Thanks, banana. I love how it looks like this. There's like, <gasps> this one's There's a ripe, very ripe. Overripe. This little. one is. Ripening. Mm. This one is perfect. <laughs> wow, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, but there's like so much in here, and then I don't know. There's also this one's a, so funny. a fish one. I love this, this one. Is so funny. I mean, they couldn't they couldn't uh, say Trader Joe's, but it yeah. is Trader it's Joe's. Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, which one is your favorite? The fish one. There's a stationary one. There's a <laughs> dairy farm bread. This the bread box is really really cute. Mm-hmm. There's a cat and dog supply. But it's really hard to choose a favorite because like, well actually I haven't. Seen, I know this one's really cute. Which one should we open? I want to open these two. Okay okay okay. Let's do it. Because. I am lactose intolerant, but I do love my dairy treats. I feel like, you know, like there's something about like that glass milk bottle that really gets me and they have one in here. Ah, ah, that's what I love. 
love. Oh, Doesn't it look so good? Yeah. This is this is my American. I feel like there's like <laughs> no two of the same stickers in here. Mm-hmm. Right? They're all like different they're sizes. They're all like these are they look the same, but they're slightly different. Mm -hmm. That's that's incredible. Oh let's show, let's show. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> you were like keeping I forgot you guys, my bad. Um I guess these are oh, the same. Oh look at that. Yeah. Nice. So cute. Oh, so good. This that kind of makes cream. me want to eat, eat some ice of this cream. <laughs> yeah. The ice cream in Japan is really good. The milk. Yeah. The milk. The milk fat content. Yeah. Super high. Oh, that there's cheesecake, milk, butter, cookies, and ice cream in wow. this one. Wow. So cute. So good. Look at that. So full. So full. Just the cutest little shipping container. I want to open the, the seafood direct from the fisherman, is what it says on the box. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one because I saw there was like a, an artist who was selling their like fish jewelry on like fake ice. Like that's how their oh, set up. Oh, that's funny. So that's what this reminds me of. That's really funny. <gasps> I love the cat, the tin fish things. The That's sardines. really cute. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Oh, look at this one. That's so funny. That's gorgeous. Uh -huh. Wow. Wait. Oh, shells. Well, they got some other stuff from the sea wow. mixed in there, I guess. Oh, this is. I like this one. Look how big. Why is this? This one's so big. Is this like a tuna? Uh, maybe. Is that what a tuna looks like? Maybe. These are all really fun. Mm -hmm. They should just keep mm -hmm. making different types of these because mm -hmm. I feel like the unboxing is actually very fun. It is fun. <laughs> I'm so like, I'm my attention is focused. Yeah. I'm so focused. Oh my god, it's so good. The mm -hmm. fish. The fish. And then I have opened the stationary one because I couldn't resist myself. And look how cute. I love this. What is this? Oh! Oh, nice! It's like the cutting sheet. <laughs> so good. They also made it proportional, so it's bigger than <laughs> everything else. <gasps> Wait, wow! It's so good. Oh my god! I also really like catalog. like all of these stickers are kind of like like sparkly. They're like holographic. Like holographic. Yeah, and it it looks so good. Looks so good. You know, someone who likes stationery made this, right? <laughs> Some, oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. All right, overboard. Getting carried away. Yeah. Oh, look at the protractor. Wait, those aren't protractors, right? The protractors and rulers. Yeah, I don't know if those are protractors. Protractors have like that needle thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's get these little guys back in the box. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Those flake stickers from this is from Greeting Life. They yes. um they've really topped themselves with this one. <laughs> this is amazing. It's very good. <laughs> and then um, next up we have a little Ask Yoseka Anything. This is actually your first time, your time. participating so in excited. it. Yeah, so I've saved a question for you okay. from um, a couple of weeks ago. Let me br bring out my phone from my Haramaki case. <laughs> <laughs> the question is from a customer um, whose YouTube name is Cake Bakerish. So Cake Bakerish, thank you for submitting this question. And she writes, Hi Daisy and Neil, I hope it's okay to ask a question here. I would like to know which A6 Hobonichi planner cover Ashley is using this year. I seem to really like her taste. I know you are probably going to stain your leather cover, um, and it's lovely too, but I'm partial to the artist polyester covers, and I like the idea of the colors line. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then she goes on to say some wonderful things. Um, oh, so, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What? Kate. Baker Cake bakerish, yeah. I was a bakery. <laughs> so, what A6 planner? Are you using an A6 planner? This I am. Year? Okay. Yes, I am using the A6. I just haven't made my decision between the um, the the English A6 ones. I haven't decided between. Well, there's the one piece one that Amy really sold me on. There's the uh, the one that I have been using, which is the the black cover. <laughs> the uh, the black cover. <laughs> Classic uh, arts and science English Hobonichi, and then the new original Asics 
English version. Mm -hmm. So I haven't decided which book is going to go inside, but I do have my cover picked out. Cool. And uh, I don't have it here, and we're sold out of it. Mine's at home. I haven't switched it to the new cover yet, but I'm going to be using the Golden Mask. So shiny. Cover. It's so shiny, but I just... Doesn't that look like a bird face? And oh, so, it is. I mean, it is a bird yeah. face. But I, I didn't think you would go for this one. That's so funny. I wasn't, but the more I saw it, it would just like stare at me because we had our display up in the store and it would just be there. It would just be staring. And I'd look over, Actually, you know, I'd be helping customers. I look over and it's just like, like looking into my soul, asking me to take it home. So oh. this is what I'll be using next you year. You rescued it. I rescued it. So yes, that is this one. But it's not one of the like polyester. Right, but it is an artist, artist cover. It is an artist yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for the other ones that I was thinking of this year, just other to, favorites. Other favorites. Yeah. Uh, because it's changed since the video that we filmed where we listed our like favorites. Kind of, a long time ago. Oh, yeah. So these are... Yeah, I've changed so many times. I know. <laughs> like, There's so many. Right? That was way too early. Yeah. So many. <laughs> but these are the other two. This one is the Tomitaro Makino one for A6. Mm. But this one's like a, a linen mm -hmm. fabric. I ended so up, gorgeous, though. Yeah. I ended up not getting this one because I really like the the double pen loops that they have oh. on the side here. Yeah. And this one has the one, yeah. which is still good. Mm. But I was like, I throw mine around so much. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. But this one is also really up my alley. I feel like most people would say, cool. this is my style. Yeah. And then the other one is the gray mm. colors one. And this one's like, very subtle. You know I like my beiges. Yes. And so it's brown. Brown on the inside. inside. Yeah. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Good with the cover on cover. So that's what I would have chosen mm -hmm. if I gotten a color this year. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully that answers your question, Cake Bakerish. Mm -hmm. um, and for all of you guys watching, do keep the Ask Yoseka Anything questions coming. Either leave them in the comments or email us with Ask Yoseka Anything in the subject line. And just as an add-on to Ask Yoseka Anything, we had actually quite a few questions about the Haramaki. Mm. So I will go over some of them. So. Um, from our Instagram, we had banana eats monkey use asks, can I use it, this haramaki, um, can I use it for Hobonichi A6 Hon? Would it fit? Yes, mm. yes. It definitely 100%. would. This mm -hmm. would fit A6 Hon. Um, another person asks, once the book is taken out, it won't hold its shape, and what happens to the stationery inside the pocket? Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good question. Um, in theory, you would think that that happens, but Midori's done a good job with, I don't know, um, keeping it pretty secure. Like the, mm -hmm. it's not it's not falling out I think because of this top flap mm -hmm. also. Um, and something maybe about like the material and the way it's woven keeps its shape mm -hmm. pretty well. Doesn't like flop down even though it's not it doesn't have a notebook right now. Yeah. And you'd think like I mean I thought there was like elastic here mm -hmm. and that maybe that's why it's keeping its shape, but it looks like it's just the the knit, the weave of the knit that's just keeping that sturdy shape. Yeah. Um, and then one last question about the Haramaki is from Bell 3 Reef. Would it fit a Midori Hibino? We're back to this question mm. again of what fits the Midori Hibino in terms of covers. So I have one here and I thought we could just try it on. And I just visually, it looks like it'll fit because mm -hmm. it's supposed to fit um, up to a B6. Mm -hmm. Ah! It's a very stretchy kind of woven material. Mm -hmm. So, should be good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it fits very well. I would very say nice. this fits better than the Hobonichi because it's a little loose on the Hobonichi, but this yeah. feels nice and really snug. Really sturdy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a good option for Midori Hibino um, if you want to keep your Hibino warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so cute. Did you ever have the like science project with the flower baby? I didn't do the flower. I can't remember what I did. I think it might have been an egg or something. Mm, that's hard. Ooh. Yeah. 
because we commuted, so we couldn't do the flower like quite long. Yeah, that would be, that would be a disaster. Yeah. Um, so thank you all for your questions. Um, really keep them coming. Appreciate them. I'm sure lots of people watching appreciate them as well. And um, other than that, we had a great weekend in the store, right? Mm -hmm. I think we had. Um, a lot of people stop by you. Had a lot yeah. of people stop by. I had so many people stop by and just say that they enjoy watching our videos and like they've learned a lot from the videos. But on the weekends, sometimes it's really busy and it's hard for me to like catch people's names. Mm -hmm. or, or sometimes people are shy and they're just like, I watch you, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> which which I still I still very much appreciate. Mm -hmm. So so thank you if you mm -hmm. stopped by. But I also got to talk to Melissa who stopped by in store to look at some Lungu box mm -hmm. pins. Yeah. It's very fun. I don't get to like unbox those very often. Right. Like, I obviously I, I know what they look like and, and I've I've met the Bungu box duo in person. But it's, it was like very fun to like, you know, see someone like trying this stuff out. And yeah, it looks like she had a really good time. Mm. So that was very fun. Yes, yeah. so thank you Melissa for um, coming out. I think you've been to the store a lot recently mm -hmm. and I appreciate you taking the trips mm -hmm. um, and coming back for looking at those Boonga Box pens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's about it for this video. Um, this week we have a super exciting week with our event coming up, Planner Madness. We hope to see you there. Um, if not for the Hobonichi meetup, then on one of the other days to try out a potential planner. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for watching this video and um, happy fall, happy sweater weather, happy Halloween. Thank you. Bye. Bye.